Hi guys, so for the daily challenge, I'm gonna give you a few little pointers, okay? So, pointer number one, if you're struggling with upper body, which a lot of women do, including myself, a booty band. You can get these on Amazon. If you're interested, let me know, I'll give you a link. Really, really easy. You can pick them up pretty much everywhere anyway. If you pop these on your arms, okay, it really helps you sort of get your form right. So look, when I put this on, oh, gonna have some doggy helpers here. Take, <laughs> put my hands down. Yeah, it's away from my actual joints and it's not actually in my armpits, can you see? Put my hands directly under my shoulders, keep my nose in front of my fingertips. Now, you can have your knees apart to start with, it makes it a little bit easier. Do up your zip area, sort of imagine you've got tight jeans on. Keep that nice and tight, that'll help you. Retract your shoulder blades back and then just go down and up and look, you're sort of you're almost bungeeing off the band and it really, really makes life a lot easier when you're learning how to do a tricep press up if I show you dead face on, you can see that it squeezes my elbows from my body, so I can't really make them go out wide. And that's good, because when I'm doing these, I want to really target the tricep. Of course, there's other muscles that are going to be working as well, but that's what I'm really after. Okay, whereas when people historically do them, they take their hands out here like this and do that. And it's just, there's not a little point. If you were actually going to push something really heavy, you'd push from close to your body. You wouldn't have your arms out there. So that's... Point number one, okay? Then, if I take the band out, having my knees apart, you might see sometimes people doing box press-ups like this. You can start like that if you want, but I like you to take your knees a bit further back so your core muscles are engaged as well. Always keep your nose in front of your fingertips and then just aim the elbows back. Now look, I'm going all the way to the floor. You don't have to go all the way to the floor. Just do your best. Even now is a really good start. And again, look, if I turn to the side slightly, you can see my elbows are going back. But having that band will help massively. Now, the other thing that might stop you is maybe you have problems with your wrists or elbows or shoulder. So that's going to be a little bit too intense. What you can do is you can lean against the wall. And that's when you can either kneel against the wall, you can stand. And literally, same placement, hands in line with the shoulders, nose in front of the fingertips. And just try that elevated, so that will help a lot. All right, so there's just a few ideas to help you with your tricep press-ups. If you need to stop or rest in between, because you've got that minute, sit back, stretch out your shoulders, release your wrists, and then come back in and give it a go. So that's just your first lot of um, tips for your tricep press-ups. Let me know if you need any more help, if you want a link for the bands, etc., etc. Good luck.